Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more MOOF University video tutorials, then please visit the Support MOOF section on MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So if you recall from part 11 on lipids, we talked about steroids and we talked about cholesterol specifically. We said that it was the major sterol in animals and it was really, really important. It also maintains membrane fluidity. It's also amphipathic, amphipathic or amphiphilic, and it's also a steroid precursor. So it's a really, really important molecule. Now the question is, how do we make it? How do we make it? Well, there are actually four stages uh, in, involved in making cholesterol. The first one is um, mevalonate synthesis. And I do want to comment on this and say that they're called stages, not steps, because each stage has many steps. Um, so the first one, yes, is mevalonate synthesis. And we're taking, um, we're going to be making mevalonate from acetyl-CoA's. Acetyl-CoA. So here, we're starting off with three acetyl-CoA's here. Each one is two carbons, two carbons long. And we're going to take them and combine them together to make this molecule here, which is mevalonate, which is six carbons long. So all three of these two carbon molecules will come together to make mevalonate. Now once we have mevalonate, the next thing we're going to do, the next stage, so this here, I guess I'll jot this down here, this is stage one. Stage two here is, is called isopentenol pyrophosphate pyrophosphate synthesis or IPP synthesis and this of course is made from mevalonate so this molecule here is IPP isopentenyl pyrophosphate and it's a five carbon molecule hence the uh, the pent pent there um, referring to the five carbons so Mevalonate being six carbons long, isopentene and pyrophosphate being five carbons long, we lose a carbon there as a carbon dioxide. Okay, we'll see more about, about that later. Um, so that's stage two. Stage three is squalene synthesis. Squalene synthesis, which is made from the condensation of six IPP molecules. So we're going to take six of these isopentenyl pyrophosphates in stage three, and we're going to combine them together to make this molecule called squalene, which is this here, squalene, rather large. So squalene, given that there are six isopentenyl pyrophosphates that are going to be combined to make squalene, six times five gives you these 30 carbons. So that's stage three. Stage four, the last stage, the last stage is called squalene cyclization. Cyclization. And that's when we're actually going to form the steroid nucleus. That is, those four rings, right? The steroid nucleus, the A, B, C, and D rings in cholesterol. And in that fourth stage, uh, we're also going to be, uh, this is going to include the modifications like oxidation as well as the removal of the three carbons because cholesterol has 27 carbons as you see here whereas squalene has 30 so we're going to take this squalene with its 30 carbons and in stage 4 in stage 4 here we're going to convert it into cholesterol which looks like that you've seen that already so in that in those in those in that fourth stage we're going to lose three carbons to give us this final product cholesterol so in the next few videos, we're going to be sort of going over these four stages in a little bit more detail. Hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks, and happy studying.